hello everyone welcome to another video tutorial on the code angle youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing us how to install wordpress locally on our machine as we are all aware wordpress is used by 43 percent of all websites on the internet and i thought okay why not show us an easy way of installing wordpress locally on our machine and in case you are wondering why you might want to install WordPress locally, there are various reasons why you might want to do that. For me, there are two major reasons why I have WordPress installed locally on my machine. The first reason is to have a testing environment that is a development environment. So when I work with a client, so I have an environment where I can play around and um, ensure that I can make mistakes in that type of environment and correct them in a cost effective manner. And also having WordPress locally installed allows me to play around with various um, plugins and features WordPress has to offer. So those are the major reasons why I have WordPress installed locally. Now quickly, let's get started with this tutorial. And before we proceed, please give this video a like as well as um, subscribe if you are new to the channel so the YouTube algorithm can favor the videos on, of this channel and it also serves as a form of motivation for me to keep creating this content. So thank you very much as you do that. So to begin, I'm going to search for Bitnami because this is what we're going to use to install WordPress locally on our machine. So you can head straight to bitnami.com. So while on bitnami.com, you can click on application and this will provide you various options of different um, applications you can install on your machine locally. We've got WordPress, we've got Joomla, we've got Redmine, but I'm dealing with WordPress. So I'm going to click on WordPress and we are presented with various options of installing WordPress. Um, we can install it on the cloud using the single tier or multi tier. We can install it on containers like Docker and Kubernetes. And then we can install it on our computer by making use of the virtual machine. This platform called Bitnami used to provide other options for you to install WordPress. For instance, on this option called on my computer, it provided us with the virtual machine options and also installing it on our Mac and Windows machine. So that option has been removed and only the virtual machine option is now provided for us. So what I'm going to do now is to click on this virtual machine option and we're going to make two installations. So the first installation is to download this particular virtual machine on our computer. So when I click on download, it asks me if I want to sign in into the account, but I don't want to sign in. I just want to install it. So it gives us an option of saying, no, thanks. Just take me to the download. So when I click on this, it will start downloading the virtual machine for WordPress. As you can see, the WordPress virtual machine is download is downloading on the bottom left. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel this download. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go back to the previous page. And the next thing I'm going to do is to scroll up and you can see in this part, it says virtual machine image requires hypervisor softwares such as VMware player or virtual box. That is when you download the virtual machine file, you need a platform, a software in which to run it. And there are two options provided for us here. You have the VMware player or the virtual box. For our case here, we're going to make it a virtual box. I'm going to open it on a new tab in Chrome. And then I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see, you can click on this download virtual box. And this version is version 7.0. This is something I've also installed on my machine as well. So if you want to install it, just click on the download button and then click on Windows Host. So once you click on this, the download is going to start, as you can see, on the bottom left of my screen but i'm going to cancel the download as well because i already have it installed so once you've completed the download what you need to do next is to run the virtual box so the first thing you do is to run the virtual box since i already have it installed i'm just going to double click on the virtual box so that it gets initialized and then once that happens the next thing to do is i'm going to expand this a little bit the next thing to do is, is to import the file for the virtual machine as you can see in my downloads right here i already have the bitnami wordpress um, file downloaded as you can see i'm highlighting on it with my mouse so i need to bring it into this environment this virtual box environment in case you are not familiar with virtual box this tutorial will just give you a brief overview of what virtual box is all about you don't need to have a full knowledge of virtual box so once you just follow this tutorial you'll be able to install wordpress and run wordpress 
WordPress locally. It doesn't require any special um, instruction. So what I'm going to do next is to click on file and then I'm going to click on import appliance and it's going to provide a pop-up box where we can select the downloads file for our virtual machine. So I'm going to click on this file icon and I'm going to click on downloads and I'm going to select this Bitnami WordPress file and I'm going to click on open. So the next step is to click on next and then I'm going to click on finish. And before I proceed, let me show you this part of the installation. It's access, um, it shows us a summary of the details of what we have. For instance, the CPU memory assigned to this particular appliance from a machine is one. You can edit the this by double clicking on it and then increasing it to two so i'm going to stick with two and then the ram size as well as you can see is 1024 megabytes so I, I i think that's okay since we are not doing much so you can increase this size just the way you want so those are a few options you can edit on the options available for us in our virtual system so once again i'm going to click on the finish button and then i'm going to click on agree and the installation begins and then it starts importing the appliance as you can see right here the percentages get to increase and let's wait till it gets to a hundred percent before we proceed now that the virtual machine file is fully installed in our virtual box so to run this file we have different options right above here we have the new option the add option the settings what we need to click on is the start so i'm going to click on start and it's going to start up our bitnami wordpress file which we downloaded from bitnami so as you can see on the right sidebar it starts powering up the virtual machine and currently it's at zero percent so once it's at 100 percent then we'll proceed to the next step as you can see we are now presented with a terminal so a quick disclaimer if you are running this for the first time it might take a while before you get to this stage because it might take a while for the virtual machine to power up the bitnami file so you just have to be patient so what i'm going to do once more is to expand this particular terminal and you can just go through the instructions but for you to log in as you can see the prompt here is saying we need to enter uh password and our username by default the password is bitnami and then the username is also bitnami so i'm going to type that into the terminal so the, the login username is bitnami so i just type that and then the password is also bitnami so now the next step is is going to ask us to change our password this is very vital so the current password is bitnami so just re-enter the current password and then you enter a new password so you can just type that and then you have to retype the new passwords make sure it's the same characters or else it will ask you to re-enter the password as you can see the password is now successfully updated so the next step is to access wordpress locally we're gonna use a ip address to do that so to know the right ip address to run a wordpress file we need to enter a specific command and that command is called sudo if config as you can see we have a lot of text showing up right here so the one you should watch out for is the one right here after the inet text as you can see it says 192.168.10.103 so all you need to do is just to type that inside your address bar so i'm gonna say 193 192 rather 192.168.10.103.10.103 i'm gonna press enter as you can see we now have our wordpress local running locally on our machine and you can see the team we have right here so the next step is to log in into wordpress dashboard to do that you need to use a for slash wp dash admin just with any wordpress platform this is the way you have to log in and now we need to enter our username as well as our password now to know the right username and the password to enter we need to head back to the bitnami website and then right where we downloaded the bitnami file the package we are presented with two options to know our credentials you have the default application login and then you have the ssh for slash sf cp and the scp connection but we're going with the default application login and as you can see for the default application login the username is user why to get the password i'm going to open this in a new tab and then i'm going to scroll down so we need to run the following command to see our application credentials so 
ideally you might not be able to grab this and paste this directly inside of a bitnami terminal so you might need to type this out um so the command right here as you can see is sudo cat for slash home for slash bitnami for slash bitnami underscore credentials bitnami underscore credentials think that spells correctly and now you can see the username as well as the password so what you just need to do is to grab the text for this password so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to head straight to the wordpress login and i'm going to type in the username which is user for the password i'm just going to type this out i think the first one is i let me click the password to be viewable then uppercase c then we have lowercase z then nine uppercase a then k five and z vlc i think that's the right test so i'm gonna click on login and as you can see we are logged in directly into our dashboard that is the back end of our wordpress application and if you are new to wordpress this might seem a little bit confusing but um if you are a little bit familiar with wordpress these are the back end of the wordpress usually look like these are this is where you get to install the plugins and you get to see the plugins that have been installed by default and one thing you should also take note of is the version of this wordpress is the latest version which is version 6.2 so everything is intact and with this you can just start um, building a website maybe you plan to build a website for a client you can just use this as a development environment or a learning environment whichever way you want to use it for so this is one of the easiest ways for you to run and create wordpress locally on your machine so i think that's all for this tutorial and before i go um there are other things um you may want to be aware of for instance you might not be able to copy text directly for instance if i try to copy this text it asks me if i want to capture um the mouse if i click on capture the mouse disappears anytime i come on the terminal you see this really might confuse you so the best way to go about this is just to press the control key on the right hand side of your keyboard and then you get to have access to your mouse again so the control key on the right side of your keyboard gives you control of your mouse again because anytime you try to highlight text it's um you you might lose control of your mouse so just know that and you might want to figure out later how to copy text directly from this um terminal i wasn't able to figure it out so um i just <laughs> decided to just um go along with instead of copying this password i had to just type it out as you saw earlier in the video so i think that's all for this tutorial if you have any questions drop it in the comment section i hope to do a comprehensive video on wordpress and one of the javascript frameworks we have out there either react or angular or view in the nearest future so be on the watch out for that and with that I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.